Hello, let's do the New York Times Hard Sudoku for October 8th, 2024. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, um, buddies. We have two and nine, no buddies there. We've got three, four, and six. So the four and the six have buddies. The fours all look in here, putting a four in one of these two, and the sixes look over here, putting a six in one of these two. Um, four, six, eight go here. I'm noticing we have a bunch of fours looking in here, so let's just mark that now. Um, but four can also go down here. Yeah, I don't see anything to do with four, six, eight right now. Um, three, four, six, three, and four. Uh, no. Uh, actually, three is, um, has a crossing on this four, one. These threes look in here. Actually, it's even better. Three is placed in this box right there. Now these two threes look in, this three looks up, puts a three in one of these two. Okay. Almost missed that. Um, and so now there's four digits left here. So these are two, five, seven, nine. This one's not nine or two. So this is five, seven only. This is five, seven, nine. This is not nine either. In fact, the nine's one of these two. And this is two, five, seven then as a result. This can be any of them, but the nines do point down. This nine looks in, puts a nine over here. Oops, let the corner mark that. Nine and one of those three. Um, is there anything else obvious to do here? I don't think so. The next band, we got the fours. We get the fives as well. It's a five somewhere up here. So we got four, five, and nine here. These are not four, five, nine at all. Uh, I don't think there's enough to do with that. Well, we do have these two ones as well. It's a one and one of these three. Let me think about these. These are two, three, can't be four, five, six, seven, eight. I suppose this can't be three, seven. The other ones have too many options. Yeah, there's still too many options left. All right. Um, is there anything I can do with this? The two... Not really. Okay, next band. So we've got six and nine. Nice. There's two nines looking in. That places this nine. Um, this one looks in here, putting a one in one of these two. That points in here with this one, putting a one over here. Um, the rest of this row, we need one, four, five, seven. This can't be one or four. So this is down to five, seven, and that makes a five, seven pair. If you're wondering how to find pairs most effectively, find them when you mark them. Don't just mark everything first, it's boring. Um, and then you're gonna miss things. So five, seven, pair. One of these will be five, one of these will be seven. So this cannot be five or seven. Um, that does limit seven to up here, I guess. So what are the remaining four digits here? I wonder if I can mark those. We need two, three, six, eight. Two, three, six, eight. Well, this is not three. This is two, six, eight. That matches this one. In fact, two, three, six, eight is a quad here. Normally, I wouldn't mark it, but this is this is a quad. Two, three, six, and eight go here. So this can't be two, three, six, or eight. Um, it's not one, two, three, four, five, six. I think it has to be seven. Yeah, because something I didn't notice about these is this is a hidden quad. So we have a naked quad here, a hidden quad here, right? Because one, four, five, nine have to end up in these cells in some order. In fact, even better, the four and five are just here. Right, as soon as I remove that five, that made this a hidden four, five pair. That makes this a hidden one, nine pair. And then the seven can't go here, or this five, seven pair says not here. So the seven goes there. And then that places the seven here and the five here. And we're down to two, three, six, eight here with the three in one of these two. Wow. Um, this is two, five, nine. And so that takes five out of here. That's a triple, two, five, nine, triple. So this can't be two and this can't be five. So that makes this four and five. This is a 1-9 pair. This is 6-8 for the column. This is three digits for the column. This is... I don't know what yet. Hold on. Um, so we've got one. We need two. We've got three. We need four. We've got five, six. We need seven. Okay, so it's a 2-4-7 triple. This is 6-8. So the two ends up 
here somewhere. Wow, this stack did a lot. Um, I don't think it's doing any more right now. So let's go back to this band here. We do have the two sevens. That puts a seven up here. We got the fours, we got the fives done. Um, there may not be more to do with the band. All right. Um, six, eight. So we got this eight looking in, the six, eight looks in. That puts an eight up here somewhere. Oh, this is just one, four, seven. This one can't be four. Uh, let's look at, did I finish this band? We got the five. I don't think it helps. All right, let's look at this stack now. Um, start with three, four, six. We do have two fours. There's a four in one of these two. Um, three and six don't do much. Five and seven, there are two sevens. The seven helps. Puts a seven up here. Did this seven help uh, horizontally? It does reduce this to three digits. We need a one, oh no, it's four digits. It's one, five, six, nine. This isn't five or nine, so this is only one. Oh, it's not six, five, or nine, so it's a one. It's a naked one. That places this one as well. And then this is five, six, nine. This can't be five, nine, so this is a naked six. This can't be nine, so that's five, that's nine. Okay. Um, these two fives look down, putting a five in one of these two. All right. What was I doing? <laughs> I got so much. Got this one, so these two ones look in, putting a one in one of these two. Um, these are four digits, so one, two. We need three, four, five, six. So fives aren't, aren't here, so fives in one of these two. That's going to point into here, removing this five. So five is now only here in this box. Um, the rest of this row is two, three, four. The three can only go here. We have this three here. So this is our three, this is our four. This, we're dt tooting in the corner with that three there. Um, this is a pair now. This is five, six. This six tells us the order. That's five, that's six. Down here we have two or four, not resolved for the row. The rest of this row, uh, we need a two, three, seven, eight. I'm going to write that out. Um, we know that the three is in one of these two. I feel like we're almost done with this puzzle. Normally I wouldn't have marked these cells, but I feel, I feel like in this case it's okay. Um, it's not really getting in the way of like finding stuff. Um, we need a 2, 3, 9 here. 3 can only go here. This 3 sees here, this 3 sees here. So that's a 3. That places this 3. There, now these are markable. <laughs> um, don't need the, I don't think I need the 2s. The, I'll keep it. Um, what was this? Darn, I forgot. 2, 9, I think. Okay. Two, six, eight, nine. Um, there's something, something easy I'm missing, I'm sure. Let's see. Threes are done. Ones. It's probably these cells. Oh, let's look at, let's look what this column needs. We need a one. No, we don't need a one. We need a two, six, seven, eight. So these aren't six. So the six ends up down here. So these are two, six, eight, and these are two, seven, eight. Okay, they're not as nice as I thought. There's four digits left for this column, so we need a one, five, eight, nine. One, five, eight, nine. These aren't ones, so these are five, eight, nine. That's not a nine. Pick the nine's in one of these two. These aren't five, so the five is in one of these two, and these are one, eight, nine. Okay, we're not getting anything interesting out of that. Um, two, one, two, six, eight, nine. Feels like we should be able to get something out of this, but I don't think we can. Um, these fives line up, but we already have a five. Okay, this this row's done. Um, these should be limited because they're not three, four. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. So they're they're they see six digits just in the box, right? They see two, three, four, five, six, nine. So they could be one. Seven eight only. I'm feeling I'm feeling something here. <laughs> the one is up here. I haven't done I haven't scanned this stack yet. Maybe that'll actually be helpful. So we got three, four, five here. Fives are done. Three and four do not have buddies. We also have two, six, and nine here. So the sixes look in here. Putting a six in one of these two. And the nines 
but a nine somewhere here. That's not super awesome. <laughs> um, four? No. All right, a little sticky here. What are we doing? So, well, actually, I have too much marked now. I have like everything marked. Um, markings, markings everywhere, but not a one to use. Let's see. Two, four, seven. There's got to be something I missed in the weeds here. This was going so well. Uh, two, six, eight. Okay, this can't be two or six. So this can be one. It can't be two, three, four, five. Can't be six. Could be, can't be seven. Could be eight, nine. One, eight, nine is not that interesting. Matches this one, eight, nine. <laughs> um, What did I miss? The rest of this row, we need a one, two, uh, six, eight, nine. One, two, six, eight, nine. This can't be two or six. So one, two, six, eight, nine. This is also one, eight, nine. We do have a unique rectangle here. I'm gonna go over what this means, um, but I'm not gonna use it. Oh, we do have a nine, one, eight, nine triple here which is going to do some stuff for us. But let me talk about this because I don't talk about it enough because I don't use it. Um, I also rarely look for it. But um, let's talk about uniqueness. So uniqueness is is just a, a global um, description of any technique that assumes that there is one solution to the puzzle. There is one unique solution. That's why it's called uniqueness, which is going to be true of every New York Times puzzle. Um, computers verified, right? So. Um, the the puzzle has one solution. Um, you're not going to find a different solution than someone else unless you break Sudoku rules. So what would it mean if there wasn't an 8 in one of these two cells? Well, we would have a 1-9 pair here. So these can't be 1-9. We'd have a 1-9 pair here. So these can't be 1-9. There's also a 1-9 pair in the box. There's a 1-9 pair in this box. There's also a 1-9 pair in this column. And there's a 1-9 pair in this column. So the rows, columns, and boxes cannot distinguish which one's one and which one's nine. So as a result, there will be two solutions to this puzzle. There'll be a solution where these are ones and these are nines, which is perfectly fine because we've already eliminated one nine from all of these gray cells, which is what that just did. We're not in danger of repeating any ones or nines there. Or we could have nines here and ones here, and we have the same result of in every gray cell, one and nine are eliminated and cannot repeat. So there would be at least two solutions to this puzzle. In fact, there'd be an even number of solutions to this puzzle if this was one nine like that. So the only thing that's keeping that from happening, the guardians of keeping this from having two solutions, are these eights, meaning there must be an eight in one of these two cells. And as a result, that means we can remove eight from here and here um, and these cells and the rest of this box. So that could do something, but I'm not going to use it. Um, because I don't like assuming there's a unique solution. I like proving there's a unique solution by taking a logical step after logical step and completing the puzzle without guessing. But we did find this 189 triple here. Um, 189 will appear in these three cells, meaning this can't be an 8. So this is a 6. And that places the 6 here. It also removes these 6s, making a 2 8 pair. So it places this 6 and 8 as well. It also places the 6 in this box, leaving 2 8. That's a 2 8 pair. So this can't be 8. Um, these also can't be 2 now because of the 2-8 pair. Um, and this 2 looks down, so the 2 is placed here. That places the 4 and the 2 and the 7 and the 4. This can't be oops, can't be 4, so it's a 1-7 pair. And these can't be 7. This is an 8 now. That's 3 and 2. We get our 4 and our 3 in this box. All right. 1-7-8. We do have a 2-8 pair, though. So 8 is in one of these two, which we just proved through uniqueness, but now we've proved it through Sudoku. So this means this can't be 8. Um, it also means these aren't 8, because the 2 8 pair. So what's left is 1 7 9. It's not a 9. All right, that's a 1 7 pair. We get the 8 in the column. This is 1 7. Can't be 1. There's 1 in the row. So that's 7. That's 1. That's 1. That places the 7. We're left with an 8 9 pair here. That's our 9. That's our 2. Is that right? Yeah, that's 9. 1, 2, and 8. We get our 2, 7, 5, 9, and 8. That's a 5 and a 2. That's a 2 and an 8. That's 9 and 8. That's 9 and 1. That's 7 and 1. And we're done. And as you can see, this did end up with an 8 right there. Could have been one of these two.
It did not end up 1919. The only way you you can find that, maybe I can find one in this puzzle, um, is with a given in one of the spots. So there should be a lot of them in here. Um, let me see if I can find one, though. Uh, not good at scanning for these. Uh, four, seven. Come on, just give me a simple one. Here. So the only way we could have a unique solution, so with, with this being the solution, the only way to make this unique is somewhere in these green cells, we need to give one of the digits at least. So if this one had not been given, there would be at least two solutions to this puzzle because we could swap the, the ones and the sevens in the screen. And so um, that's why one of the reasons this one had to be given. Right. And, and anywhere you're going to find that in this solution, you're going to find a given interrupting um, and, and disambiguating this pattern. There's other uniqueness patterns that are more complex. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, I did solve a puzzle by Clover called, I think this puzzle has one solution. Um, up, up there, I'll put a little link to, um, to watch that. It's very interesting if you want to learn more. And I'll go over um, more in more detail how uniqueness works and different uniqueness patterns you might find. Cool. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Thank you.